Hi, everybody. I'm David Esmond. Thanks for joining us. Kicking off tonight, there are some messages that don't get old, and there are some messengers who never sound stale. So Republicans have dusted off an old tape of the great communicator, Ronald Reagan, and juxtaposed it with comments of some of his modern-day adversaries. Take a look. Even our capacity for self-government or whether we abandon the American Revolution and confess that a little intellectual elite in a far distant capital can plan our lives for us better than we can plan them ourselves. Give us more authority and more ability. For all of this talk about uh, rules, we make them up as we go along. A government can't control the economy without controlling people. And they know when a government sets out to do that, it must use force and coercion to achieve its purpose. Put the legislation together to control the people. We go through the gate, the gate's closed, we'll go over the fence, the fence is too high, we'll pull vault in. If that doesn't work, we'll parachute in, but we're going to get health care reform passed. They also knew, those founding fathers, that outside of its legitimate functions, government does nothing as well or as economically as the private sector of the economy. There needs to be a focus on a, uh, an immediate increase in spending. I mean, I, I do think at a certain point you've made enough money. The more the plans fail, the more the planners plan. You're telling me we got to go spend money to keep from going bankrupt? The answer, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. That was pretty dramatic, quite a juxtaposition. Now, there is no doubt that Americans have soured on big government. They've seen Reagan's words clearly play out under President Obama and the Democrats in Congress. But will the Reagan message sell without Reagan? Does a cross-party maneuver work in order to bring over the old Reagan Democrats and the independents from where they went in the last election to where they might go in the next election? Joining us now, a man with plenty of Reagan credibility, President Reagan, Secretary of the Department of Education. He served other functions during the Reagan administration as well. Bill Bennett, good to see you, Bill. Thank Thanks you, David. For being Thanks here. very Appreciate much. It. Well, a lot of the Democrats and the independents, the, the, the old Reagan Democrats yep. who went with Obama in the yep. last election, who were soured on Obama, say, you know, we'd like to find an alternative, but we don't see one. We understand that there are a lot of good candidates for the midterm elections, but in terms of, of a, somebody who's going to carry a banner into battle, a warrior, a Reagan-like warrior, they don't see one yet. What are they missing, well, if we, anything? We don't need one yet, David. We need one in 2012. But I'll tell you, I've been out there campaigning. We have terrific people out there. My Reagan credibility is pretty good. I was in the cabin. I was the youngest member. Now look, you know, look how, look how time has done. Time has any, time's changed. Any, anyway, and, you know, we all have this wistfulness for Reagan. And the message is great and is exactly on about this intellectual lead in Washington. It doesn't change. In fact, if anything, it is more relevant now than it was in 1980.